Well, good morning, friends. This is likely the last day of our 2023 PCT adventure. And it's really, hopefully today is not an adventure. It's been an adventure to get here, but hopefully today is just little logistics of traveling back home. Yesterday morning at breakfast, before we left Holden Village, a woman came and gave everybody there an announcement that uh, the air quality outside was 364. Well, that's like telling an American that it's 45 degrees Celsius outside. You know, they know that the water's not boiling uh, and they know it's not freezing, but that doesn't really mean anything to people that aren't constantly looking at air quality indexes. But when we got to an actually had a chance to look up what 364 is. I'm gonna add a little color to that at, uh, what is it, it's uh, airnow.gov. They have the charts and the different zones are green, yellow, orange, red, purple, magenta. Well, the magenta zone starts at 300. And she did tell people that, you know, it's unhealthy to do any strenuous outside activity. <laughs> well, I looked it up, it basically says, stay inside. It's unhealthy to do anything outside for everyone. So anyway, since uh, Holden Village is all about being outside, kind of a bummer for people that are there right now, but that's kind of the level of the smoke we've been dealing with the last few days. And they say it's gonna get better, but nobody really knows when and the fires are still burning and nobody knows when they're gonna put those out. So I think we've made the right call, Top Rock. What do you think? That's it. Anyway, so today's journey, we're gonna walk on down to the main station here in Wenatchee and we've arranged for a shuttle, which we didn't even know existed 48 hours ago, to get us to SeaTac. And from SeaTac, we'll catch a plane and fly home. If we see anything, I'll take a picture pretty smoky out here though still so I don't think there's gonna be many pictures come along though last day of the adventure hey just for the record in case we forget to go back and add it that day we were hiking from the PCT down to Holden village top rock came across four snakes at least at least, <laughs> at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> they weren't big killer snakes but you know anytime a stick on the trail starts to move as you're about to step on it, it kind of gets your attention I think they got his attention and then as they started to move they would like disappear even though they were right there so it was uh he had several adrenaline rushes there in a short period of time especially in one spot there was like three of them within 20 feet of each no, other no, no, no. five feet okay three it, of them within it, five feet it's a snake pit over there snake pit crazy anyway just want to make sure we recorded that in case you're hiking in the uh, lyman heart trail area beautiful fantastic keep your eyes out for snakes Top Rock just walked by a barber shop and made an interesting observation as he looked into the window of the barber shop. Top, Top Rock, tell us about that. There were a bunch of nice, fancy hats. I don't think you can trust a barber that sells hats. I thought that was a very astute observation. The barber selling hats, maybe there's a reason? Just a thought. Hey friends, we made it into SeaTac. We're past security. Just got to wait for our plane now. So I think we're pretty much uh, pretty much done for the moment. Top Rock. Uh, do we talk about Kedger almost falling on his face? <laughs> we didn't. We, did, we didn't talk about that. When was that? That was on on the way out. We were moving pretty quick to get into Holden, and 
something snagged a foot and a trekking pole and enough to be really close to breaking a nose. Yeah, I grabbed a, a left foot, a right foot. Trekking poles could not be moved forward because the bushes were snagging them. And I uh, went down, but the ground came to literally right right there, almost to the nose. But no, it did, did not break my nose. So That's good. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. We'll see if we talk about it anymore. It looks like we're going to have a flight to San Diego and then an Uber on home. Well, friend, we have made it to San Diego, so now the only thing is to pick up our bags and call an Uber. Thanks for coming along with on this trip in 2023. Probably do an epilogue section, but why not put it out for many days? So watch for it, but in the meantime, it's been fun. Happy trails. Really sorry we didn't see 
the terminus of the Canadian border. Something to look forward to. Fair winds.